Today I have with me Kotaro Yamamoto, the technical advisor from Honda for many years, right? For 39 years I've been working for Honda. 39 years, guys, so he know everything about Honda. He's a really nice man and he explained it yesterday at Honda presentation, kind of every single detail about the car and I was impressed to find out some details that I didn't know until now and I'm sure you don't know as well. First of all, I want to congratulate you and your team because the car is just fabulous. I mean, not only the design, but also the improvement to the car, plus the hybrid, full hybrid system that in my opinion, I think it's one of the best uh, combination of efficiency and also the smoothness of driving. It's, it's really, really good. If you want to explain us a few things about the new changes of the new CRV. I heard yesterday a few things about the motors that now are no more in line, right? And now they are parallel. Can you can you tell me a few things about that? Because I know people are really interesting to go a little bit deeper in those details. Okay, so maybe just a few words how the hybrid system works to get a better yeah. understanding. So at Honda, the so-called EHEV hybrid system works in a way that the engine is used basically to produce electricity by running a generator. And then this electric energy is being transferred directly to the propulsion motor, to the drive yeah. electric motor, and then driving the car. So this means the engine and the wheels are usually disconnected. Yeah. And, but they can also be connected via uh, a clutch yeah. so that we can also use the engine to drive directly the wheels, which is also very efficient. The engine acts like a generator, but it also produces the energy to go to the battery. The energy yes. is sent to the battery, charge the battery, but also send the energy directly to the to the wheels, right? To, to, but after 80 km per hour, or when you push the acceleration, it's just come directly or send directly the power to the wheels, or? Exactly. So. Um, what we what we want to do is to operate the engine always in a very fuel efficient operation point. Yeah. Um, the engine has a very different so-called efficiency yeah. depending on where you operate the engine. Right. Um, and normally, as a as a conventional car with a with a manual shift, um, you you pass this so-called sweet spot only um, for a very very short moment. Yeah. But with the hybrid system where we are disconnecting the engine from the wheels, yeah. um, we can operate the engine independent from the speed, yeah. always at this very fuel efficient operation point. Yeah. And that's the secret behind. Yeah, and it stay like kind of the same RPM, right? This yes. doesn't, yes. Uh, yeah, this is great. And that's why I think for, when I heard about it first, first time, I was thinking, man, this is so intelligent. I mean, you kind of control the efficiency in somehow, in some ways, right? But, and But staying, keeping the engine on the same RPM is sometimes not so good from, let's say, the perception, yeah. because people think maybe this is a CVT gearbox yeah, or yeah. Uh, it feels like a CVT gearbox. So what we did is, because the engine is disconnected from the wheels, basically we can do everything what we want with the engine. We could even play a melody with the engine. Yeah, yeah. But so what we, do, what we do is we, we simulate a revving up engine with a shift up. Yeah. So it actually feels like a very sporty car, um, accelerating and revving up and shifting up. Yeah. And the, also the sound changes if you um, switch from normal mode to sport. Mode. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. And it has a super nice sound, but I think it's also from the speakers. Or yes. It's a little bit. A little it bit. It comes also a little Only bit. some frequencies are yeah, being... And I think it's set up perfectly. It's some, some little, little element there that make you feel really nice. I drive the car a little bit earlier on those curves there, and it was really dynamic, and I like that very much. I think the suspension are set up perfectly between dynamic and comfort. It's just what I felt. The suspension system utilizes a so-called electronic adaptive damper system, yeah. just like the Civic Type R. It's, it's basically the same system, um, which can cope always with the, with the perfect damping force for each input. Yeah. And it can also change the complete characteristic depending whether you are in normal mode or in sports mode. 
I heard that you also somehow on the full hybrid, I mean, you improve the battery size and weight in such a way that is the best efficiency to make it also somehow uh, neutral from, you know what I mean? You yeah. talked yesterday in, uh, a little bit in this presentation. Honda has the, Honda has the philosophy, which is called the so-called MM principle. This is the man maximum, machine minimum principle. So we always try to find the best balance um, to reduce the mechanics of the car to its minimum in order to maximize the space in an indirect way, yeah. the space for, for human as much as possible. Yeah, inside, because I know this is the most spacious CRV ever, right? Yes. I saw in the exactly. back, I sit in the back and I like almost stretch my legs completely. And I love the fact that I think this is the most climb the seat, the most in, I don't know, in this class, if it's some car that you can climb exactly. the seat like that, it's, it's like almost sleeping there yeah, yeah. on long feet. <laughs> yeah. It's a phenomenal. I mean, the space in the back, it's gorgeous. It's business class seats. Yes. yes. And then we talk and you talk yesterday about the visibility. And I know that the mirrors are installed on the, on the doors. Exactly. And now you improve the A pillar. I think yep. it's a little bit more. Behind. Well, the A pillar are designed in a way that, um, especially at the bottom of the A pillar, normally they they become thicker. Yeah. And this is um, somehow intruding into the visibility field. Yeah. But we try to make the A pillars really straight at the bottom. Yeah. So that um, on one hand there is no obstruction of the visibility. Yeah. But you also sh make a very clear rectangular shape of the front window. So you have really a very nice visibility to the front. Yeah, I noticed that. And also three weeks ago, before I saw your presentation yesterday, I said that the visibility is incredible. And I'm surprised how you managed to, to make it so small and in the same time to include also the speaker there. <laughs> and it's fabulous. The, the visibility, the mirrors are also big and visibility, yeah. it's really, really nice. So what can you tell me about the body? Because I know you improve. I heard that it's a little bit stiffer and you add so So from the body, what we did, is basically two things. One is, of course, to to improve around the uh, underfloor because um, we have to protect the battery, um, so the underfloor is more stiff. Yeah. Um, also, the the body structure itself has been improved in order to cope completely with the latest Euro NCAP protocol yeah. of 2023. More than that, um, a very rigid body structure is very good for handling and also for comfort. So what we used a lot is structural adhesives, like, like a glue. And, and glue have the, have the advantage that they can um, glue surface together, a, a whole area. It's not just a welding line, yeah. but it's a complete surface. You can bond and you can get very high shear um, forces. Yeah. And that's the reason we use uh, structural adhesives because you can increase the rigidity yeah. with nearly no weight increase. Yeah, that's, that's great. Those technology and those little elements and things that you did to the car, but it's not advertised or people don't hear about those things. I'm really interested to send to, to you guys because you have to know all these things when you go to buy a car, you have to be informed. And I know that Honda cars are really reliable for many years. They, from my point of view, are one of the best, most reliable car manufacturer in the world. And uh, you have to keep in mind this. Anyway, you have to see the car. You have to go and test it and see it and see for yourself. Uh, because I think it's just uh, incredible what they did with this uh, sixth generation CRV. Okay, now I saw that also you improved the. We have more sensors and also the adaptive cruise control. I try it on the highway today and it's almost like, like Tesla. It stays perfectly between the lanes. It accelerates, it's braking. It's work really, really fine. So this is also improved from the last generation. Yes, new CRV is using for the first time in Europe, the so-called Honda Sensing 360. This means by adding some more corner radar sensor, we are now capable in monitoring 360 degrees around the car. Mm. And this, of course, um, minimizes the risk of hazardous situation. Um, and of course, um, we can have new functionality of the car. For example, if you drive with um, adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist by indicating uh, or by initiated 
by the indicator, the car will autonomously change the lane for overtaking. Yeah, really? And uh, if there is another car on the parallel lane and you want to change the lane, it will warn you by yeah. giving some steering input yeah. in order to bring you back mm -hmm. so that you can avoid the collision. Nice. Also, the, the, the cross traffic from both sides on the front um, can be monitored. So if, if you have a, a, a very um, poor visibility yeah. into a street, the system can recognize if there are cars coming from left or, or, or right. Yeah, so I, I saw that. It has a lot of system that warn you when I drive and it's really useful. Honda has the, has the target to reduce um, accident fatality um, with Honda products yeah. uh, in general by 2050 to zero. This is, this is our target. Nice. And um, the Honda Sensing 360 is one big step towards this target. Nice. This is nice. Also, I saw that the car come with 360 degrees as option. And I saw that the resolution and the clarity of the cameras is quite, quite good. So from this point of view, uh, cruise control, lane assist, and all that safety feature, I, I saw before that it's really good. Another important thing that pop up in my head, because I always said in my videos that Plug-in hybrids are a great option only when you have the possibility to charge it every day or every three day maximum. If you don't have the possibility to charge the car, maybe it's not such a good idea because you have the heavy battery that you have to carry all the time with you. But I hear yesterday you said something about um, Honda have one good advantage, right? That it has a different hybrid system as as base or the, the plug-in hybrid of the new CRV has the big advantage that the base powertrain is already the very fuel efficient EHEV hybrid powertrain. So of course, when using the battery, which is capable in driving 82 kilometers all electric, the fuel consumption is really marginal. You have something like 0 0.8 liter per 100 kilometer, but even without the battery. So if the battery is completely empty, then still the consumption is something around six liter. Um, so nearly equal to the full hybrid because the base powertrain is the fuel efficient hybrid powertrain. And on top, if you want um, electric power again, you can charge the battery with the car while driving. So if you are, for example, driving to London and you know um, after maybe 50, 60 kilometers of driving, you need to have certain battery um, charging to drive fully electric in the city. You can already start charging before. And then when you reach the destination, maybe you have already a fully charged battery. Great job, really nice. Thank right? you very much. So in general, I think we cover everything and we thank you very much for the time and for all the information. Now guys, from my point of view, I think it's one of the best full hybrid or plug-in hybrid that it's on the market today. Definitely go and test it, check it out and see for yourself. Uh, thank you very much for your time thank and for you. everything. Good luck Great with plan. everything. Great job with the car you and your team. And yeah, that was all guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you again for watching. See you in the next one. Bye guys.